What happens after Gojo's death? After Toji killed Gojo, he went on rampage, ending Rika by shooting her in the head, and then fighting Suguru. Even though Geta was fighting with his all might, Toji alleviated his ass on the floor and smashed his face to the ground. However, the unexpected happened, as Gojo comes back from dead and surprise attacks Toji. Gojo says, yo, long time no see, and proceeds to go absolutely nuts since he now can use 6 eyes without any restrictions. Learning about reverse curse technique that refreshes his brain constantly, minimizes CE usage almost to zero and it also heals his wounds. That's how he returned all fine. And he can use infinity automatically, which he had to manually turn it off and on, and not feel worn out. Just a note, he mastered RCT basically being half dead. Throughout the fight with these two, he used two brand new techniques that have never been seen before aside from CT Blue, are RCT Red and All of Purple. These two techniques are possible due to Gojo's discovery about reverse curse technique possibilities. Gojo managed to unlock his potential to the fullest and rightfully proclaimed himself with the title of the Honored One. That day, he became the strongest sorcerer to ever live, no doubt. Later in the fight, Gojo hits Toji with RCT Red, and since he hasn't seen it before, he had no idea on how to counter it, so it hits him really hard. As the one-sided fight keeps on, Satoru finally hits him with the Allo Purple, absolutely finishing the fight victoriously. This fight served a huge impact on Gojo's life overall and his awakening. If Satoru didn't master RCT in time, he would've bled out and died, never defeating Toji. That also proves that whatever new technique or literally anything that he tries, he masters it instantly. Personally, I absolutely love this new season. It's a rollercoaster of emotions, nothing less. And the new fresh animation feels so smooth. 